Okay, I'm gonna go over how to run the photosynthesis and cellular respiration activity. We're gonna use spinach leaves for this, and we're gonna be putting them in a uh, chamber, and we're gonna use the Vernier LabQuest and a carbon dioxide gas sensor and an oxygen gas sensor. And so the purpose of the lab, oh, and, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the spinach leaves in here, we're gonna, and we're gonna put this in a under light or in a dark uh, situation. So obviously in the light environment with using like one of the lamps that we have available under the light, photosynthesis should be occurring and we'll be using a piece of aluminum foil or something to cover up the experiment and compare what it's like in a dark environment. And so obviously in the light, photosynthesis will be occurring. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using these sensors to measure the amount of carbon dioxide gas or oxygen gas uh, that's being used or released by the plant in the light and dark environment. Ver you know, photosynthesis or cellular respiration. And we can also, just like we did previously uh, we, um, in the diffusion lab, we're gonna be measuring the rate of photosynthesis or cellular respiration based on the amount of carbon dioxide gas or oxygen gas that is being used or being taken up. So here's the setup. You're gonna obtain enough spinach leaves to cover the bottom of the chamber. So just place those in there. If there's a lot of extra stem, you could remove that, it's not needed. And you're just lining the bottom without uh, stacking them one on top of the other. Okay. There, so I've got to line the bottom of that. I used about eight spinach leaves. I'm going to cover it up. I'll carefully remove my carbon dioxide sensor. Okay. All right. If your lab quest says that, remember you're going to hit cancel. And then go ahead and plug in carbon dioxide sensor. And this is the oxygen sensor is supposed to stay up. Don't put it sideways. And plug in the oxygen sensor. Change the unit to PPT for both of them. Make sure that the toggle switch on the carbon dioxide sensor is on the low setting and the oxygen gas sensor doesn't have a toggle. Set the experiment to run for 900 seconds. So just, I don't know if you saw how I did that. On the LabQuest app, uh, right here, when you're on the meter screen. Okay. Time base duration will be 900 seconds. Okay. And now this is all set up. So I'm going to set this up in the light. Once you have everything set up, 
go ahead and turn the light bulb on and wait five minutes for the gas exchange to kind of start occurring. And um, then once five minutes is up, you can go ahead and hit play on your LabQuest. In the lab, you're probably gonna end up partnering up with another group because you probably won't have time to run this both in the light and in the dark. So you might be running this in the light and the table next to you might be running this in the dark and you're gonna compare your results and share your results in the light with the group that does it in the dark, for instance. All right, if you're setting up your experiment to be run in the dark environment, you're gonna take some aluminum foil. I'm gonna cover this up first. I don't, I don't even know if this is totally necessary, but this is one way to do it. But the other way would be to get it just totally uh, in a drawer or something like that in the classroom in a dark place. It doesn't have to necessarily be covered up. But if you're gonna leave it out on your table, it does. Got it set. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my carbon dioxide and oxygen sensors. Once everything's set up, wait five minutes for the sensor readings to uh, stabilize, hit play, and then wait for 15 minutes for the data collection to run. When the 15 minutes of data collection is up, go to connections, and then on, whoops, on your iPad, go to the graphical analysis app, New experiment, data sharing, camera. Connect. Now, since you're gonna have two sets of data, it's pretty important to label them. Once you've connected, click off the experiment and then click on whatever it's called and rename it. So this is, uh, I'm just gonna call it, this is the dark. I'll go over here to the situation and where the light one was being run, and I'll do the same thing. I'll go to connections, and I'll scan that one. So on my iPad, I'll click the same thing. Connect, and then again, I'm gonna label that light. I won't be able to put these on the same graph, but I can go to both of them and I can do things like calculate what the slope is. So again, curve fit, linear, slope is the M value. I can do that for both of them. You don't have to select the whole line if you feel like especially for this experiment, if you feel like the data is better observed at the end of the graph, you could just select the end of it. So again, you can get the slope of the line there, the M value. And then I'm gonna go back to my experiments and I'll do the same thing here. Now you can tell on this graph that there definitely was a change. I didn't wait long enough. Maybe five, maybe 10 minutes would have been better to wait. Um, and I probably should have had the light on first. So I'm just going to get the slope of the line at the end of it here. I'm not going to use the first part. I'm just going to use the second part. Again, curve fit there. And the same thing here. So you can get your M value. You can do your comparison and, and make your graphs. You can put the graphs, uh, screenshots of these. You can put screenshots of those on your write-up as well. Remember when the lab is over on your LabQuest device, click the home button, select system, and shut down. And that's how you want to power these devices down after you use them. Then go ahead and plug it in. And then just with the spinach leaves, you can return those. Uh, I'll have a place in the room where you can put the spinach leaves that you've used. Um, and then Save the aluminum foil as well. Try not to destroy that. When you return the oxygen sensors, make sure they go in the boxes. They really do have to be uh, upright, apparently. 
So put them in the box upright and then close the box. But don't just put them in there randomly. 